few years ago, or at least a couple of years ago, I made this little radio and I made a YouTube clip. Um, unfortunately, since then, for some abstract reason, the audio has disappeared on my original clip. So rather than re-uploading it, I decided to do a new and improved video for your entertainment and enjoyment. Should you feel so way inclined. Anyway, this is a little um, AM broadcast receiver regenerative using a few old parts and some stuff that I found left around the house um, got three knobs on it um, first knob is for regeneration which sets the sensitivity um, also sets it into oscillation um, which you really don't want otherwise it screeches and spits RF into the air second is a tuning control which has got a built-in vernier reduction drive or you can turn it just straight third is a volume control now the parts that I used in the front panel just some leftover masonite the bottom part is a floorboard the sides uh, bits of decking just like this decking over here now for the interesting stuff the inside we got a type 32 tetrode which is used as a regenerative pardon me regenerative detector um, second is a type 30 triode which is used as the amplifying stage the audio amplifying stage um, got this green coil over here which I found was from a later on mid 20s TRF radio got it for about 20 bucks the tuning capacitor which I showed you earlier how it's got the built-in reduction vernier drive it's probably from around the late 20s early 30s made by a British company called Ormond valve bases uh, just you know ceramic types bought from China the um, regenerative the regeneration coil is just a bit of um, cardboard tubing from some aluminium foil and um, wound, you know, painted black to make it look antique and there's some um, copper wire enamel coated copper wire wound around it the binding posts are just from JCAR cheap stuff probably look at it upside down so yeah, just plastic jobbies about a buck each or something like that how does it work? how does it sound? oh yeah, home built power supply for B plus and C minus and a bench power supply for the film anyway, back to what I was saying, how does it sound? let me just turn it up there we go see there it is with the regeneration turned up it starts squealing we don't want that, let's back it off see if there's anything better on Oop, copyrighted music, I don't want this blocked in several countries a bit more yakking back that up a bit I think I'm freaking out the dog a bit let's see what else we got Oop, just popped into regeneration there. Something that sounds like sport. Some other station. As you can hear, it works really well. I could have easily left out the final stage and just had it work on the earphones but uh, more copyrighted music, don't want this blocked alright, crappy advertising, I don't think that's under copyright but anyway put the second valve in there, it can drive a speaker if I put it through a matching transformer it seems to do the job to 50% on every plush so far. So there you go. Wobbly. Oop, copyrighted music. 
probably something that's out of copyright, but they'll try and block it. I have another video that I did of a radio restoration, which has some music from the 1920s, which I believe is in public domain, but some twat somewhere has put copyright on it, so now that um, clip is blocked in a couple of countries, so I'm trying to avoid this sort of stuff. Anyway, I think you've heard enough. See you later. Cheers.